Herbig Harrow objects are bright, nebulous regions of gas and dust formed when material, ejected from a forming protostar, collides with the surrounding interstellar medium. These ejections travel in opposite directions from the star and reach velocities over 700,000 kilometers per hour. That's 435,000 miles per hour. When this fast-moving material collides with slower-moving gas, bow shocks are created, like waves are produced by the bow of a ship plowing through water. This image of HH-46 and HH-47 was taken by Hubble. The protostar is not visible behind its blanket of dust. Here is the web image in near-infrared. At this wavelength, we can clearly see the protostar. It's actually a binary pair of protostars. They are buried deep in a disk of gas and dust that supplies the material for their ever-increasing mass. The disk is not visible, but its shadow can be seen in the two dark conical regions surrounding the central stars. The most striking details are the two-sided lobes that fan out from the actively forming central stars represented in orange. Much of this material has been ejected over thousands of years. The star's more recent ejections appear in a thread-like blue. They run just below the red diagonal diffraction spike at 2 o'clock. They are disconnected at points and end in a remarkable uneven light purple circle in the thickest orange area. Over millions of years, the stars in HH 46 and 47 will form fully, clearing the scene of these beautiful, multi-hued ejections. Featured in this image from Webb is another Herbig Harrow object named HH211. At roughly 1,000 light years from Earth, the object is one of the youngest and nearest protostar outflows ever observed. The image showcases a series of bow shocks to the lower left and upper right, as well as the narrow bipolar jet that powers them in unprecedented detail with roughly five to ten times higher spatial resolution than any previous images of HH211. Molecules excited by the turbulent conditions, including molecular hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and silicon monoxide, emit infrared light that Webb can collect to map out the structure of the outflows.